so today we are going to start a uh, little questions and let's see the today questions we have today question 1061 in which we are going to see the lexography smallest equivalence thing we have to find out right so let's let's understand and read the question so question is saying we have given two strings of the same length and that is s1 and s2 we have given and there is another is base str is given right so we say s1 and s2 are equivalent characters if we have given an example s1 equal to abc s2 equal to cde and if if the, we are saying s1 and s2 are equal then what we have a equal equal to c b equal equal to d c equal equal to e and it is saying also equivalent characters follow usual rules of an equivalency re relation right so that that is what three relations we have reflexivity asymmetry and transitivity reflexivity is a equal equal to a transitivity is a equal to b and b equal to a and uh, transitivity is a equal equal to b and b equal equal to c means we have a equal to c so there is another example given right and s1 equal to abc s2 equal to cd and these and these are equivalent string of this one okay now we have to return the lexicography a smallest equivalent string of base str whatever is given in the base str that we have to return is a smallest equivalent string okay and uh, by using these two information of s1 and s2 okay so let's see the example first what we have given example first we have given parker and morris we have given and in the base str we have given so we have to find out this its uh, smallest uh, lexographic equivalent string and we will return okay before that if before that <coughs> you see here we have given what uh, s1 we have given example first and s2 we have given parker and morris we have given right now what we will do at each index right? like index 0 we have in both string s1 and s2 p and m p is given in s1 and p m is given in s2 similarly uh, we will make another group at index uh, 1 right index 1 so previously at index 0 we have made what p and m here we have made a, a and o now we are making next index that is 2 and we have got what it is making its own both places have the same value right same same character so it is pointing pointing to its own now there is k and r right so we are making another group similarly we will make e and i and then we will make what r s right so we already have seen that k we have made k and r right k and r we have already made so again r is going to its another value that is s and that's why we will we can add here directly we are not going to make another group we will append here because we have already done but we are leaving it if the, its own right so then we will leave it right because it's making its own so this is a, just a character this is not a group this is just a character like right? and uh, another one that we have taken this one right that was what e and i so these are group we have so if we will talk about the smallest character in the uh, equivalent character right so in the p and m we have got what m right a smallest this is wrong uh, in the example so we can say in the p and m uh, which one is the smallest m is the smallest in a and o the smallest character in this component is what a and if talk about r we have only r right now we have k r s in which the k is the smallest and another group a e and i this one now we'll see what we have given in the uh, in the base str right so in the base str it is given what uh, you'll see see here we have in the base str we have given parser right so we'll come to here and uh, here we can say the base str given p a r s e r okay now check in this this component a smallest right so in p and m what is the smallest we have so if we we'll talk about this one so we have m now in a in this one in this component a is the smallest right a, a and o here so what we have a smallest we have a is the smallest in r what we have if we we'll talk about k r s you'll see k is the smallest right so we can say k we have okay here r we also have but r is a smallest right r is a single value we have here in the r correct and we'll say that uh, we'll, we can take in 
this component because if someone is coming R, so it will give R, right? But another component what we have already here, another component this one. So if R is already there, means R is just R. Now, there is no smallest one. But if we we'll cho choose in this one, this component, then we will get K, and that's why we are getting K. Next, we what we have. <coughs> Uh, S we have right. So in S, if you take talk talk about this same component right, uh, K R and S we have we will get K. So again we will write K, and then we have E uh, E and I we will get E is the smallest here. You are getting E is smallest. Now we have R and we know for R what we will get, we will get K. Okay, so we we'll make K. So this will be our output. Okay, M A K K K E R. Let's see and see the output. M A K E E M A K E E K. Okay, this is the output. So now I think you have understood the program. Let's go to our program sections and let's do through the DFS. Here in the core browser, right? So let's uh, of the read code. Let's go and start reading. So now we have given this method a smallest equivalent testing s1 we have given s2 we have given and the base str is given right so what we have to do we have to first of all create adjacent matrix and we will store all the as is given right so how we'll do that first we will make a adjacency matrix right and that is called adjacency matrix now this matrix will contain what its a node and its value right all it nodes and its value right so what we will do we will create 2d matrix right so we will take int i will say integer right we'll take integer and we'll say total character how many character we have right for all uh, nodes right 26 so 26 uh, will come for all the nodes right and so that it's uh, its value can be mapped with more than one correct in one group and that's why we'll take 26 later now this is done correct agency matrix this is our agency matrix now what we have to do we will move to its uh, length right given length of s1 so how we'll got it we will do uh, we'll take uh, int m m m and n okay we'll take m equal to s1 dot length s1 dot length or size yeah length we can take and int m m and n we will take s2 dot length okay both length we have now so first we will move to all character of s1 so how we'll go that we'll make for int i equal to we'll start with uh, the index we can take index 0 0 character and then we will move to M, right and uh, we can say uh, what i plus plus all the character we will move how we'll do that we will uh, take our agency matrix here this agency matrix okay and we'll say that uh, add character what we will what we will have uh, we should do first of all to add on the character each character uh, array right uh, let's see what we have we can say there is some value we will store some value respective to to that right so for that what we, we can do we will make uh, agency matrix on the agency matrix at its position what position there is some character right let's see s1 at cares uh, care uh, index zero. Let's see. Uh, we can say care care at right. This is caret function at i character i. If we have, we will do it. Uh, we we have to map actually value. And this can be a. We can take a right. And uh, at this is the its uh, index right. At this index. There is some index also, right? We'll take s2 dot care at all its neighbor, right? Dot uh, we'll take i, right? And we'll do what? Minus, right? Minus a. Actually, we are doing 
mapping here right so we will uh, update its all uh, index value right so we will have our adjacency matrix and we will update its care at that position and we'll do the care at this position if let's see we have some value right and if we'll do uh, minus and this uh, character right so it will update that character okay and uh, then we, we have to set some value right so if we'll talk about this is what we have some character right and that character at that position we are marking that the, this position is already done right similarly for another character actually this is called marking we are marking this one so at s2 we'll do the same thing and this is our s1 right and we are mapping the same thing right so this marking things has been done right now what we will do we will uh, move we will store all the uh, characters right how how will we'll take up one we can say marking is done now we will choose an array and that we will store the all the final characters of the mapping right so how we'll do that we'll take a array right so we'll say this is int and we'll say cat mapping care mapping is an array we will take okay and this will store our final map character so this will also size will be 26 right so if we'll talk about we have to move to its all character right all it's all a position so how, to, how we'll do that we'll take i equal to what zero and i should be less than 26 right and i plus plus so this i will move to all its character all its index right and uh, we will set its value right so what we have here we have care mapping we have so at care mapping all the position we will add some value and that value is what its character index right we are mapping actually we are adding some value so we will store the final character mapping here now this is done now what we should do we should visit uh, all the uh, all the visited node we should store somewhere right so if we'll talk about we'll take an integer and we'll say we'll say integer and this integer is what visited visited what new and integer right we'll we'll take that integer like this and this is also size what 26 right we can say this size is also 26 so all visited will come here how we'll do that we will move with all character character will start from 0 we'll say character will start from what 0 okay and then if c is less than what 26 you can take i also and i c plus plus you can say so we will move to all its character we will visit by all its character right now if character we have already visited means we we have this visited node visited character this is visited character and we will pass c means correct we have visited that character if that is null means we have not visited right and so we to we have to store the character in the current component let's see so we will make a component and that is our list of integer right we will take one list of integer for the component remember we are making some component right so let's see character let's see this name i'm giving character comp a yeah, single component uh, single component okay so we are making each single component right or a component we can give a name a component okay <clears throat> now component is ready right now what we will to do we will or uh, we can say give the name current underscore component okay now what we have new array list will take like this 
this one okay now current component we will have now if we have not visited means we have if this is null means we have not visited and so what we have to do we will create a component and we'll say we'll take a minimum character we'll take what 27 okay because we'll take a variable and that will store the minimum character in that component okay how many character we will store we can store 27 character let's see we have dfs utility method uh, rather than in cap dfs utility method like this we have dfs utility method we will pass its uh, uh, character time right and then we will pass what urgency now what we have urgency matrix we have already here we will have the urgency matrix right and then we will go to its visited if it is visited we will do recursively we will check all its component right so we have to pass our current component to here so in the component we have to check if, if we have uh, from the component we will check if we have visited then fine otherwise otherwise what we will do we will map them map them right we have to map the character in the component the, with the minimum character right so how we will find the minimum we have to map the character we'll take a loop right uh, for all the component let's see this is the component we have already gone right we have already this call we'll start with one one by one uh, character right so we'll say if character vertex we have character vertex vertex we have character vertex let's let's suppose and from the current node we will have each character vertex right and then what we will do we have our character mapping array so we will add here its vertex each character vertex a vertex you can say and this is what the minimum character we have already and that will pass here okay so we are sitting like this now this this time we have did this one right now we are after coming to for loop what we should do we will take an string we'll say answer or output and we'll put in that one right how we'll do that we will create the answer string right how we'll do that we'll make a for loop and we'll say from from a character char from a character char char what we have we have base str we have given and from the base str we will move to all its char to char array it will convert all the character in character array and then for each character we will append our answer okay so this answer is we already have so in this we will update our uh, we will convert into character first right so how to i will do that we will take whatever the data is coming that will we have to convert into mapping we have oh, where is mapping here is, we have mapping mapping char we have and then we'll pass a uh, so character we have right char and then we will pass minus a and what we will have here we will append some value and that is a so in this way we will append our uh, answer and finally after this loop we will return our answer right but we have created one dfs method here right and that we have to create let's suppose we have this method here right this dfs method we have so what we should do this method is not returning anything right so we'll say this is our wide method 
right and it is taking a character so from which uh, from where it is getting right so we'll take this character is our source from where we will start right this is our source this is our matrix this matrix we have already created right so go here and take this got it now what we have visited we have what is visited we have visited is a integer right and current company is what is current component here list okay so now everything we have now as we told we usually do marking the character is it visited or not right so what we have to do we will mark to visit mark to visit right how we'll do that we will take a we have this visited on the visited we will do visited dot and we will pass what uh, sorry on the visited we have source right we have source and that source is we will mark with one now we have to append our uh, what component current component right so current component we have so what we have to do append in the list right of component in each component we will say in each component how we'll do that we will we have component then we will do first add and we will add onto the list and that is our source right now we have marked visited now we have added on the source right now what we have to do we have to find the minimum character right so what mean character we have so we are passing this mean character right this mean character okay we have taken this main character right so what we have to do this mean character will define here on the top of the class let's see this is our mean character and we'll we can initialize with zero right we can initialize with zero now that thing we can take here mean character and we'll say that we have to check math we have to update its value right mean value we will update from what mean character and then we have source right whatever the mean character we have that will come to the mean character right now everything is done now we'll move to our matrix right we'll check on to is it visited or not so for that we have to do int will take i equal to 0 if i is what less than 26 we'll move to i plus plus for all the character we'll we will do what dfs if the egg ex exists then note visited or not right if it is not visited and if the edge is there right then we will go and for that what we have to do we will check do we have is and and that node is not visited and node is not visited then what we have to do we will go like we'll do if the urgency matrix from the urgency matrix we'll say urgency matrix contain what source and at that i not equal to what null and we have visited we'll take visited and visited of i is also null means we have not visited and this source has not been null source should not be null and it should not be visited right then what we will do we will call our dfs that we have called so we will pass here okay what we have passed now at the c what we have c c is just a i correct 
we are making the loop correct i now agency matrix we have visited we have our current component we have right let's uh, run it's working fine let's submit oh it's working fine now if we'll talk about the complexity uh, what i'll uh, tell if you if you can work on the complexity and if you'll comment this here that will be very good either uh, if you have any doubt in the complexity please ping me in the comment box and let me know i'll uh, uh, write there the comp uh, like like the complexity right you know the dfs complexity and dfs right so please ping in the comment box thank you so much